I'm Professor Scott Downs. I was a first responder during 9-11, and I'm a safety and security consultant and expert in the field of emergency management. Today, I'd like to talk to you about one of the most important developments I've seen in workplace wellness and safety, OPX technology from Fever One. No matter what happens with this pandemic, vaccines and variant mutations of the virus and other viruses in the future, the need for the workplace and group wellness has been highlighted by the pandemic. As more and more people return to work, schools, restaurants, dentists and doctor's office, the need for temperature scanning of staff and visitors is even more important to assure you're not letting sick people into your group environment and infecting others. No matter what the virus, no matter what the bacterial infection, it never makes sense to have any individual with the fever in your midst. The majority of temperature scanning in the past has been done by an infrared forehead scanner, which reads the skin temperature of the forehead. However, this is only recommended when the person being scanned has been in a stable ambient environment of 70 to 94 degrees so that the skin temperature is not affected by either extreme cold or heat. Otherwise, the skin temperature of the forehead will simply not be close to core body internal temperature. The core body temperature is the gold standard. It is the temperature inside the body, whereas the forehead scanner is just telling you the temperature on the outside of the body. But the core body thermometers, such as the oral thermometer, just aren't a practical screening tool in mass temperature scanning. So many people have reverted to the simple forehead scanners, which can be accurate under ideal conditions if the skin temperature has not been affected by excessive heat or cold. Here is a recent temperature map of the United States, showing that almost the entire country did not meet the recommended temperature range for forehead scanning, making ordinary forehead scanners practically useless in most of the country. Here's a typical staff arrival arriving in a heated vehicle. Let's see what the scanner reading of his temperature of his forehead actually says before getting out of the vehicle. After parking their vehicle, they typically walk across the parking lot, and many employees arrive early in the morning before the afternoon sun, and they brave the winter chill and more. Now that he's walked across the parking lot, let's see what happens to their forehead temperature as they enter the facility after the forehead has been exposed to the cold air. Now let's see what happens when we retake the temperature of the forehead inside the building. From these results, you can see how the forehead temperature changed drastically from inside the vehicle to the entrance of the building because of the cold. And if it was excessive heat in the summer, the inverse would happen with higher temperatures on the forehead and again, inaccuracy. So these climate extremes Infrared skin temperature alone is simply not an accurate way to screen people properly. And screening sick people from schools, facilities, or any group setting is still the most effective way to assure facility wellness, highest levels of productivity, and to show that the facility cares about the health of the people there. Bottom line, there needs to be a more accurate, more reliable, faster way to screen sick people from the facility. And now it is here, OPX technology from Fever One. Unlike ordinary forehead scanners, which are only reading skin temperature, Fever One has been developed by a technology company with the experience in edge processing and artificial intelligence to use additional sensors, ambient detection, and onboard processor with a built-in algorithms to develop an actual core body temperature rather than a skin temperature. The same technology company has built other monitoring equipment, including bridge safety monitoring, power quality monitoring, and much more. Of course, Fever One also has the added benefit of being totally self-servicing so that your personnel does not have to take temperatures. No longer do you need only 70 to 94 degree ambient locations, but OPX can cope with skin temperatures that are exposed to freezing wind chill as well as a blast of summer weather. It is simply amazing. Let's see Fever One OPX being used after the same employee walked across the parking lot. The results are just amazing. OPX is the only way to mass screen for fever, reliably and accurately. Ordinary infrared forehead scanners are a relic of the past. We do not have OPX technology. So with the same temperature map we showed before, OPX could have worked anywhere in the country today. But that is only the start. OPX by Fever One offers total self-service scan processing. Unlike forehead scanners, there's no requirement for staff member to scan the individual. 
which can only be done as far less than six feet of safe distancing. The person simply walks up and scans their wrist, fist, or upper arm, waits about a second for a signal to move on. The data is all captured and can be retained on board within a local server or on a Microsoft Cloud. Some models offer the ability to integrate with magnetic door locks, RFID or QR readers, and much more, as well as all models offer temperature data storage for future references. OPX by Fever One offers so much more than the ordinary infrared forehead scanner. Accuracy you can trust, data that can be stored to prevent future liability exposures, and integration packages to allow you to protect your facility from sick individuals. It is not only your first line of defense to prevent sick individuals from any group setting, but it also puts you on the offensive, putting facility wellness and safety as the number one priority for the sake of your staff, your customers, and your visitors.